It's clear that Macron and Trump are much more in sync with Merkel and Trump. It's kind of do what you have to do, follow what expectations are, nothing more. The relationship between Macron and Trump seems like a real bromance. I mean, they clearly like each other. There was loads of touching, touching hands, shaking, shaking both sides, kissing, touching on the arm. I like him a lot. Smiling at each other. Trump could even brush a little dandruff off the lapel. <laughs> we have to make him perfect. He is perfect. Macron smiles back, doesn't bother him. I think they like each other and they like the attention and they know that everybody is watching and that they can make this show, this showiness, work for both of them individually. So with Merkel and Trump, the body language was quite different from last year. Trump especially was just much warmer from the beginning. He seemed to know what he was supposed to be doing. When I look at Merkel and her body language, it's not that different from last year. She's there on a business purpose. She knows what she wants to do. She smiles for the camera. She smiles at a fellow head of state. What we learn from their body language about their real relationship is not so much as when one or the other is talking, but in the silent periods. You know, for instance, when the cameras are getting into place, they're not looking at each other, they're just looking straight ahead without smiles. Of course, when Trump congratulated her on her victory, there was a handshake. When she was talking, he might glance at her. When he was talking, she might glance at him. But in between times, there's nothing. There's no, com there's no conversation. It's just check the box protocol versus I really, we're doing this together, a relationship.